Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you how to create this cool distorted text effect. Here we go, it's playing slowly, but um, in a minute it'll play fast. And the other, we'll, we'll be using some third party tools, but they are completely free, at least as of right now. We'll be using Red Giant's Universe, and it's really cool. It's actually a set of just a few plugins, and it's re it's free, and it's really awesome. So, go down to their website and get that now. I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, what we're going to be creating today is that. So, let's get started. Make a new composition and type your text. So, here we go. I'm just going to type, you learn fx there we go and scale that up so it looks good okay so now what we're gonna want to do is search for radial blur and make sure you don't take the radial blur under blur and sharpen take the radial blur under the category universe blur or you can go if you, if you select this effect then universe blur there we go and then just select it from here, radial blur, right there. So I'll just do that, but you can get it from there as well. We'll bring the blur size down to 5, and then the aspect ratio will leave about where it is. And so you'll notice if we sort of go off this, it creates a really cool effect of almost writing on. So we're going to use this at the beginning. So find where it sort of is just off the side, set a keyframe for the center, and then move forward a little bit, and then bring this on all the way. So, there, that's probably about good. Maybe even a little further, because there's still quite a bit of distortion over here. So, we'll click on this, bring it over. There we go. And so now, if we play this back, it's sort of... Writing on, maybe bring this down a little. Um, there we go. Okay, so this is looking pretty cool for our transition on, and then we might as well just work on our transition off. What we'll do with this is search for the block load okay there we go and just sort of put that on there and then set the completion um, as high as looks decent so probably around there and then set a keyframe and then by the end bring that down to zero and I'll end my comp there too a little after I guess Okay, so now we have our text coming on and sort of wiping off in a blocky, pixelated form. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So now the next thing we're going to do is look for the RGB displacement. Okay, and... Okay. So we won't we don't want to choose the RGB displacement, just the simple RGB separation. And this I actually had a tutorial on last week on how to do an RGB split. And this is sort of like just a pre-made version of that. So this is really pretty cool. So now that we have this effect on here, what we're gonna do, I'll click on the radius and then type wiggle. Then how about 20 comma 20 there we go okay and this is just creating a sort of moving RGB split and so I think this looks pretty good so on to our next step what we're gonna do now is duplicate this and on the top one I think we'll delete the RGB split so it doesn't sort of counteract the one on the bottom. We're going to set this transfer mode 
to add. And then what we're going to do differently on this one, we'll add a find edges and invert that. Here, let's just solo this layer. Okay, so we have that sort of coming on. All right, that looks good. And a streak blur. Okay, and drag that on there too. And we'll do this sort of a lot less than that, but just sort of play with some of these settings. I'm still kind of new with these plugins because I actually just got this today because it just came out today, but I'm really liking it so far. Okay, so add that on top. And the add mode maybe doesn't look so good, so we can try some other ones. Screen, maybe. It's a little too bright, so I might go with something darkened. This will give it a little of a beveled feel, too. So that's kind of cool. This whole sort of lo-fi look we're getting here is pretty cool. All right. And I might actually increase the blur length a little. Okay. There we go. So I'm happy with that. So. What we're going to do now is add a new layer, just a solid, and put it on the bottom. So now we're going to utilize yet another one of these really cool plugins. So we're going to find Turbulent Noise Easy and drag that on there. And then you can choose whatever of these you want. I like the plasma, and then I'm going to zoom way 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 out of it okay and then to make this sort of look good we're gonna alt click on the seed and then wiggle this and it's gonna go pretty fast so i guess we can say like three times a second but it doesn't need to move very far so only three because this is random seed so really it can just be Random seed just sort of changes things up about the exact location of what's where. So, it really, I mean, going from just one number to the next is... It's not sort of like the higher number you get, the more it changes. Just every number is different. So, with this, it doesn't have to be changing much. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit of a problem with this darken. So, I might have to change this back to something like screen. That'll keep it nice and bright. It's a little on the bright side, but I think it actually looks sort of cool with like the glow glowiness of it. Then maybe I will add this RGB split back on. Okay, there we go. Don't know what happened there. Okay. So the next step is going to be just to pre-compose everything. Pre-compose. There we go. And now we have everything pre-composed looking nice and awesome. So we'll do two effects, one of which is from this thing and one of which isn't. The one that is is fisheye. And this is really cool because all other fisheye type things I've seen actually require some sort of scaling on your initial footage, but this actually doesn't. It has, it sort of just expands like the middle and then shrinks the sides. So it's actually, it's really cool. Normally what you'd have to do is it would sort of bring everything back, but this doesn't. So that's pretty cool. So what we'll do, we'll just sort of distort this out a little bit. And then on top of that, we're gonna add an optics compensation and this is actually this is kind of cool because it's sort of reversing the effects of the fisheye and making it into a tv like look so when something you have set there to do something and then something reverse it there's going to be some sort of cool effect okay so we have this tv 
sort of look going in old TV. And this could be cool for like a title. We can actually scale this whole thing up a little. It actually resolution doesn't matter for stuff like upscaling because this whole thing's supposed to be very low fi. So it doesn't really matter. And then it's being slow to render, but this is a pretty cool look we got going here. So then there are always little things you can do to sort of fix this up, make it look nice and awesome, add some glows. There are a few nice ones in this little pack thing. You can also sort of tint it so I can give this one like a nice greenish and bluish tint to it. Okay, then we can add curves on top of everything because that text still is a little bright from the add on top of it. So we can bring that just down a little. Okay. And so that's, I mean, that's most of our effect. It does come with an effect. This is actually just a 30-day trial that it comes with. But I believe it's under stylize. Yeah, there we go. Hollow matrix. This makes stuff look like a hologram. So this is another cool effect entirely. This is a plugin that that could be a whole nother tutorial. But I only have this for 30 days because this is just the trial version of that that comes with it. But you can do some pretty cool stuff with this too and expand on what was done here. So, thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. So, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.